Picking up right where we left off, we're now going to go back to Manjula, but hello, friend! We actually have a problem. There's a turtle on my elevator. So, there's actually a way to get around to him. I just want to make sure that was equipped. We're just going to do this and return to the last bonfire. Because I don't want to do it, Turtle Man. <laughs> turtle Man, by myself, with no fire longsword, makes me, makes me weep. Watch me weep in the corner every day of the week. <laughs> Um, I can actually consume the soul of the last giant, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to turn into a boss weapon. Minor spoiler earlier. Minor spoiler. So let's head back to Manjula. And, um, yeah. First part's done. We have 10,000 souls to use to level up. We can now... I, I, we can... I, 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 we, we can open a blacksmith. We can go down into that basement area of the house to get something else. And we'll have four sunny delights. That's pretty much what we're gonna do right now. First, we're gonna Special level. Here to see, however. Oh wait, scratch that. We're gonna give her the shard first. That's right. Before I forget that, you have a tendency to forget that. Just you get so many of them right off the bat. The original version of the game you did, which was a pain in the ass. But I'm gonna move Dex to 11, and I'm gonna move Strength to 17. So that will allow me to equip the fire longsword and actually be able to utilize it. There's actually a few more things I need to do. All these little souls, we're going to use them now. Uh, I don't need repair power at the moment. Repair power, your powder, powder at the moment. So we're not going to utilize it. And this soul we're going to leave be later down the line. Good num num these souls. Num num! Devour! Devour them all. Could actually get a nice shield, but I'm not gonna be able to wield it. It's gonna weigh my ass down. Hence why I'm not gonna bother with it at the moment. Right now it's just gonna be about leveling up. Like a mofo. So, 5,000 more souls! Yes. So we're gonna get 5,000 more souls. Survey says we have 92 samurai with 49 equip load. I'm gonna make that equip load go up a little bit. So I don't know if I should do the equip load or I should just do strength. I kind of want to do strength. Strength at 18. We'll equip load 50. And I think we're good. Like equip load just allows you to equip more stuff with you know with the rolls not being fat rolls. Fat rolls are disgusting. If you're gonna play this game, you know fat rolls are disgusting. And now I can equip the mace, fire a long sword, and I believe the buckler at the same time. Buckler I can't. Okay, buckler requires 13. So, can't do buckler. Um, bu 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 bum bum bum. I kind of want a sun bro, so we'll throw down the sun bro stuff for later. And I think that's it. We'll just open this up. Open this up. Short bow. Talk to our friend here. Which he says, come on back, and then, you know, I'll be able to help you. Right now, I'm not going to be able to help you. She actually, there's a, there's actually an NPC in here that sells you stuff to get in here, but I'm not strong enough to deal with that yet. So, we're not going to deal with it. And there's actually a Pharaoh's Lockstone, which obviously you saw open secret doorways back over here, which I need to grab. So that's the first item I'm going to grab. I'm not going to piss around here. I'm actually going to just like grab what I need and head out to the next area that we're going to be going. To go to. So there's actually a skeleton down here. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to deal with. Ooh, he does piercing. Okay. Do not waste any time then. Alright, that's fine. I have my Estus. He actually dropped something. A human effigy. How many human effigies does he have? 17 at the moment. There's actually two items here. One is this. The fourth shard and the soul vessel. The soul vessel allows me to basically change out all my stats. So if I felt like changing out all my stats, I could do so right now, but I'm not going to. There's actually a few more things I need to do here, which is go upstairs now. Time to go upstairs. I'm only using the Morning Star right now because of its effectiveness against the skeleton. We open this chest up. This chest is a torch and three Titanite shards. 
I believe there's nothing behind this one with weapon anyway, because I'm a douchebag. And now I can just roll down here, go from there. So I believe if I hit the bonfire here, he'll actually start working in his workshop. Not 100% sure on that, but we'll find out in a minute, because he's done it a few times for me. So what I want to do is give her the Estus shard. Now we have four. Always useful. Nope. Need to stop talking to you and get here. And now I can go. He should be working. Yeah, he's working. Great. Because he's working, I can actually get what I need. You, the name, and you, that not no, not equipment. So now I can reinforce my fire long sword. And make it a plus two. I'll be around if you need. Having a plus two weapon is a lot better than basically it's an upgraded version of the fire longsword. So I'm gonna need this for something coming up. Which that area I said we weren't gonna go to right away, we're going to now. Because the pursuer, which is that thing I ran away from originally, is the next boss in that area. We will go back to that. We will deal with him. But right now it's not a good idea to go deal with him really not I mean it's not a really good idea to head where I'm heading but it'll work itself out four SS shards uh, uh, sorry three SS flask 31 life gems five radiant life gems one old I think I'm doing pretty good for myself and in pretty good stats to actually deal with this area here now this really pretty tough area this is the way to open that door down there hit that and I'm going to see if I have a helmet I can throw on. I want to throw on a helmet. Anything useful. Nothing useful. Okay. So we're going to get our next bunch of items, which is down over here. Stole the Lost Undead, broke the Thief Sword, and we're going to head out. There's actually a knight over here that will not bother us unless we hit him. So I'm not going to fuck with him just yet. We will fuck with him again, just not yet. He's not my target. This is my target. Now, if this guy hits me, we're gonna do a shitload of damage. Alright, should be able to kill him now. There we go, five hits, he's down. 400 souls for killing him. Great leveling up space uh, for actually killing these guys, just to milk them out little by little. There's nothing left of him. Gotta watch this guy. This guy's tricky as shit. He's got that. Boy, he's bad. Take Taking out. I think he takes six. He's the one that does the most. There's actually one more that does a lot more too, but we're not gonna be dealing with him right away. We're gonna be dealing with this guy. Come on. I know you want some. Gotta be very careful there. He can knock me the fuck off of that street. Alright, so he's dead. Pick up the items. Void's Talisman, which is good for PvP. Yes, there is a lot of PvP in this game. And the human effigy, number like 14 that I have. I'm actually just gonna use the life gem in this area because it's easier, it's smoother. Just do it. Normally I wouldn't raise the platform, but I've been cheesed by this boss in earlier renditions of this so I don't feel like being cheesed I'm just saying you could cheese him I'm not really good at it I'm not focusing on cheesing this fuck but I'm gonna run past these three knights you can actually do that you don't have to fight them you can actually just run past them which I'm doing I really don't feel like dealing with them in their bullshitty ways and we're gonna run past that guy too that guy won't bother us there's a summon sign which we're gonna actually summon we're gonna bring this guy into into our boss fight as well. Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa, no. You do it, my friend. Man. I think they all come down. Yeah, they all. Some of them are going back. Oh crap! I better stop talking. Better just get the fuck in here. For the, uh, the dragon rider boss fight. Not a really hard boss fight. Really easy. Just gotta avoid his attacks. There we go. I can do something down. Oh, fuck! 
He almost, almost cheesed me there. He almost cheesed me. So I like to stay healthy for this fight. Again, not a really hard boss fight, but... Just gonna be very careful he doesn't push me off the edge. We fatigue them. Good. Good. Good job. Good job. It's an NPC summon. It's not an actual, like, other player. He's got that big-ass sword. And he's just a good distraction. I mean, I can do it solo, but just good distraction to deal with this guy. Just puff him in the ass. Always just poke him in the ass. Wanna go down, bud? Yeah! Alright. That's boss number two down. That is boss number two with 9,000 additional souls. And we're going to change him into a weapon soon. Oh, wrong way! Don't go the wrong way like I just did. It's a terrible idea. I think all of them are going to start pulling in, so... We just distract him and go up the stairs. He can't follow up the stairs, luckily. And there's a bonfire up here. Which you're going to utilize... So we have another 10,000 souls, really easy. Are you from, are you from these parts? My name is Asiya. Miracles. But she just like, I can't really, I need 12 for that, at least for the heals. So we're just going to talk to her, she's going to change her position where we can go, which will come in use, to getting to one of the bigger bosses. There we go, okay. Just make sure she actually got the message, time to move on. I didn't have to use any of my Estus in this whole area. There is one more boss by the dragon over there, which we're not going to fuck with for quite a while. We will fuck with him, not for quite a while. Alright, so after I go to this next area where the bonfire is, we're actually going to head into um, the forest again. And there's actually a reason we're heading out there again. I won't say why, but we're going to head out there again. <laughs> so, there's going to be some leveling off screen that's probably going to happen. We get some new gear. What not, but I'm gonna deal with this guy first. I just want him out of the way. I want his souls. Poke him in the butt. He don't like it. He likes it. It's kinda of weird. Poke, poke, poke his head. Okay, should be one item over here, and that's why I needed him dead. Let's actually gain this item here. Dark Troaches. Soul of the Proud Knight. Old Knight Halibur. So, should be here, and here, and here for more pickups. That you want to use those when we're not really doing anything. That's going to take away from it, because it will be more time con uh, time consuming to do it otherwise. Now we can go down this pathway, which is actually one big ass knight here. He's a major threat to actually deal with, because usually he's much later in the game. But he's a poker. He's poking back. And eventually he'll fall. So all the poking ways. And the pokes. I actually did that because I knew my stamina would be coming back up, so it's alright. And he's dead. He's actually a little bit weaker than the other versions, but still, we actually get his helmet, which is pretty cool. And there should be an item that will boost the Estus Flask right here that he was hiding. Yes, it is. So that's definitely something I wanted to do. Get that out of the way. Just gonna follow this pathway, the pathway down, so I don't have to do it twice. And we're gonna take another elevator. Elevators are so much fun. I'm gonna quick heal because I don't remember exactly what the hell's down here. And I'm gonna pop all the souls because otherwise it's gonna be very time-consuming. Just makes it a lot faster, a lot easier. Keep the life gems out right now, just in case. And uh, yeah, let's, let's keep going. So right here, there's nothing. Right here, there should be one of the little petrified curse guys. There is. We're not going to fuck with him right now because, again, we need uh, the item to get past that. This guy wants to fight. I fucked up the first hit, but that's alright. Should be a life gem. Nope, throwing knife. Alright, I'll accept it. I'll take it. This is going to take us to another section called No Man's Wharf. Which will take us afterwards to another section. There's actually a boss in No Man's Wharf. So, we can engage him, but I don't like to engage him under leveled. I've done it a few times. It ain't fun. So, back to the forest we go.